Listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk to y'all real quick. Listen. I'm hearing some things like this going on, bro. You know what I mean? And this is some of the things I'm hearing. First of all, I heard that there's some secret battles that's going on. I've known about this for a while. And I kind of just didn't want to say nothing. But the information's already out there. You know what I'm saying? And basically what it is, you know what I mean? I'm hearing that Mike P, he battled Snake Eyes. And from what I'm hearing, you know what I mean? Like, it was a good battle. I don't know. We've got to watch and, and wait until the, the shit hits, like, the URL app. So if I'm, like, thinking about getting the URL app, is this something that's going to make me want to get the app? Probably not. But then I'm hearing there's other battles, right? You got Franchise and JC. You got Rum Nitty and the Saga. You got, like... Listen to me. Rum Nitty and the Sagas? Listen. Like, I don't know, bro. I'm not the hugest Saga fan with the Wax Saga, but that might be a fire one. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But I'm, getting, I'm having a problem with a couple things. We're we going to get to it. Then I'm hearing this a situation with Shotgun Shug and Tay Rock is about to battle in the secret battle. Then I'm hearing, like, it's some, you know what I'm saying, T-Top, you want some shit? Daddy Myers? Chess? O-Red? I'm hearing some things, bruh. You know what I mean? So this is what I want to say. First of all, you know, we know that that's going to be dope. These battles are going to drop, like, on the app. And, you know, if you got the app, you're going to be able to see them. We also got Hollow the Down versus Danny Myers. Potentially, that's going to happen on the app probably at the break of, like, 2020. You know what I mean? Bringing that in, they're probably going to end up having that. So, if you got the app, you'll be able to see everything, you know. And I will say, O-Red versus Ch listen to me if that's going on. That would be fire, bruh. You know what I'm saying? If that's going on, that would be fine. I wouldn't be mad at that one. You know what I mean? But I am kind of mad in the sense. This is what I want to say, bro. Oh, my God, Piper Boy. Why you talking? Why you telling people everything? Why the Listen, it's already out. People are already talking about it, like, on social media networks. It's only a matter of time before people are going to find out about it. I ain't tell everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? But there's some things that people already know about. But this is what I want to say. Chess, you're about to battle on smack volume. You're about to stand in front, in front of Arsenal. And you got a three-round battle against somebody. Three-round battle, you know, like in a secret battle with this. Now, you haven't choked all year. You know, aside from what you did before, like I think you've had an incredible comeback. Don't put yourself at risk of choking in one of these battles and going right back to where you are. Now, from what I'm hearing talking to battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of like a Christmas thing. This is a check for them. And I get it. I can't get mad at somebody for trying to get money for their family. If somebody's dangling, you know what I mean, like three, four, five thousand dollars in front of you or maybe a little bit less in front of you and you know you got bills coming up, and for the most part, you a full-time battle rapper. You kind of need this money for Christmas. So I get it. But what I think is going to happen is you guys are going to sacrifice getting money in the short run for having good performances on these cards. And I think what's been happening on, like, the URL, like, in general, a lot of these cards are fire. You know what I mean? That like they put together. But these battles haven't been living up to expectations. And I don't want a smack volume that I'm going to have to purchase you know, get the early bird if you can. I think it's like $45 for the early bird. So a smack volume that I'm going to have to purchase to not play out good. And I'm spending my whole day watching these battles. And it's not going to be a good showing because everybody is picking up battles here and there, like in the interim. You know, so I don't know, bro. You know, y'all going to have to think about that. Daddy Myers, I know you got something that's coming up. And then you about to battle pass on King of the Dot. Which, you know, some people are going to be looking forward to that battle. I'm not, I'm not the huge, pa you know, a huge Passwords fan. I think he's kind of whack. You know what I mean? I think he just, you know, he hasn't shown up so much. That's why I don't really care about him, bro. You know, that's why I don't really talk about him. He can battle lugs. I don't care. It's past. You know, I know he can rap. But, you know, what he just how he's been playing with his career, I don't really care about that dude, bro. But you signed up to battle pass. That's what you got. Now you about to battle People talking about you about to battle Big T. I don't know if that's the... Listen to me. God damn it. People talking about you about to battle Big T. You know, so you got that. You got, 
you know, like hollow to die and you got pads and, you know, people's complaint. The, one of the only complaints that they had about you this year is you taking too many battles to where it's leaving you liable to have a slip up. Some people say, I haven't seen you versus Snooey Newton, but people are saying that you slipped up in that battle. You versus franchise, like you had like a slip up in that battle. When you start taking all these battles... There's a chance that something can go wrong. Plus, you got to think about, you about to battle Hollow the Down. Why the hell would you be battling Big Listen to him. God damn it. Why would you battle Big T? Big T's not going to do anything for I talk. I talked to you on the phone already. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, I'm like, yo, this is too much. You know, but you said you got unlimited bars. You know, you're the bar guy. You can make this happen. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's light work. I think you can make it happen. But I'm just saying, it's too close to you know what i mean like you that's three battles you but you got three rounds three battles like why would you do that i think the hollow the down battle is not that long you know the rounds but still you prepare for hollow everything should be focused on hollow the dime that's just my thought process about it you might be able to get through it but you know it is what it is y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section about that rum nitty god damn rum Rich, Rum Nitty's manager. I ain't trying to diss him, but this is what it is. Rum Nitty's got a lot of people pushing him in media. You know, a lot of people rock with Rum Nitty. They don't want to say what's been happening. And what's been happening, Rum Nitty's been choking and stumbling in battles. You know, he had like an issue with John John and Don. He choked in that battle. He had a stumbling issue with Sue Sir. He battles K Shine, he had a choking issue. He battles Big K, he had a problem with that. You know what I mean? He had some good battles. Like, you know, in the meantime, he had, like, the, the Nestle battle. He had, like, Geechee got it. You know, it was all right. You know, but Rum Nitty, you've been in a position to where your performances are not as clean as they once was. You know, and we know Rum Nitty's got, like, great punchlines. Everybody knows that. He's got some of the great – like, his second rounds are great. You versus T-Top, that second round was fire, bro. You know, your, I think your second versus k Shine, if I'm not mistaken, was fire. Like, you can do great work, but you about to stand in front of Chillin' Jones, bro. And I ain't about to be not telling you this. You know what I mean? Like, you about to stand in front of Chilla, and you about to... The saga... Listen to... God damn it! This is a rumor that you about to battle the saga. You know, saga, the wax saga, he is... You know what I mean? I don't like him, but that dude ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? You about to stand in front of him. You're going to have to, your material you can come up for him, you know, come up with for him may not be as, you know, hard to come up with for like a Chilla Jones or something like that. But come on, bro. You about to battle this dude and have to prepare for him and not lose. And you got to get ready for Chilla. When you were battling Briz Rothstein and getting front, you know, getting ready for other, I think it was like Briz Rothstein you was battling, getting ready for, and you was getting ready for Surf. I could be wrong about that, you know what I'm saying? But you had a problem stumbling with Surf, you know what I mean? So I don't know, bro. You know, hopefully you can kind of think about what you're doing, but you know, money is money. I can't tell Rum Nitty, yo, don't take that back, don't take that three thousand, four thousand back. He's already solidified in battle rap. To where he can go anywhere. He can go on Rare Breed Entertainment. He can go on King of the Dot. He can go on Stiz's League Battle. Okay? He can do whatever he want to do. URL, he's still going to be considered a URL battle rapper. Even though he's had like humbling beginnings like at other places. Like getting his name up. That's what people are going to consider him as. So he's kind of just like in a fortunate position to where he's always going to get booked. But god damn, I got to buy this Mac Volume 5, bro. It is what it is. You about to battle Chilla. Now, some people say, oh, well, Chilla Jones is about to battle Real Deal. He's probably just going to put, like, compile a bunch of throwaways that he had for Real Deal into three rounds, and that'll be that. Like, I don't think he has to really work hard for Real Deal. He already battled him. He knows what he's getting involved with. He knows what he probably wanted to say to Real Deal when the battle was going on, when he watched the battle. Oh, I probably should have said this. Now he's just rewriting everything or getting things ready for Real Deal. I don't think that's going to be a problem for him. You standing in front of somebody that has a legendary battle with JC, you know what I mean, that is crazy. And it's not just that. Like some of the work that he's done, like his, his what he can put together, like his craftsmanship with his boss. Chilla Jones ain't no joke, bro. He might put me to sleep, but I ain't going to play him like he's an easy opponent. This could be, if you and Chilla do what you're supposed to do, the battle of the year. You know what I mean? I'm being real. You know what I mean? A lot of battles that was on paper, everybody was excited about, didn't come out to be much. 
You know, but this is something that's on paper that if you do what you normally do, what you're supposed to do, like some shit that you did with Iron Solomon, and then he comes doing something great, which he's on the URL on Smack Volume, Chill ain't going to play with you, bruh. You know, so if y'all come prepared, of course this is going to be a fire battle, maybe even a classic, potential classic, you know, battle of the year. That's what I'm thinking about. But you about to battle Saga, bruh. And you've been having a stumbling issue, so I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a blogger at the end of the day. There's plenty of us out there. You know, like, a lot of people probably ain't going to say nothing. Some people probably going to say something. But I'm just saying, you know, like, I would probably try to make sure I have a lot of clean performances so that you can, in the future, ask for whatever price you want. Like, ah, damn, ARP, if you want to book me, I, I need eight grand for this and that, nine, ten, for this and that. And they'll be like, okay, like when they look at you, oh yeah, you ain't been stumbling, you ain't been choking, you've been doing what you're doing. You know, then it's it's not a problem. But when you you come on, bro. One of these people you might stumble with. Hopefully you don't. And I'm hoping you get through everything cleanly, but come on, bro. And then chess, come on, god damn it. I'm know I'm going back to that chess, but come on, you about to battle. Oh, come on, bro. What you doing, bro? Like, why? I don't know what y'all thinking, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that is what it is. It's, you know, the <laughs> at battles is going to drop. You know, I hear him. T-Top is, you know, about to battle somebody. I'm hearing Cortez about to battle somebody. You know, some some battles that's going to be out there. Some of them that you going to care about. Some of them you're not going to care about. But y'all have to make the decision on whether or not you want to get the at. Battle rappers, you're going to have to make a decision of where you want your brand at. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you want to be, like, choking, like, towards the end of the year? It don't make no sense, bro. Like, don't come on, bro. Come on, bro. And Danny Myers, you about to do a tour with Hollow the Dime. That's the only way people gonna be able to see this battle before it drops on the app. That's the only way. Either they're gonna have to be there in the building, or they're gonna have to, when they go to their city or around the city, they're gonna have to go there. You're gonna have to sit through a battle that you might have stumbled or choked in. And people gonna be asking you, like, why did you do that? What what was the point of this? And what and what are you gonna say? You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, like Hollow was saying, like, bro, you got to make sure this is fire because you're going to have to replay this battle over and over again. You might not care that much about Big T or care that much about passwords, but Hollow, you better worry about, bro. But you putting yourself in a situation, you got to pick and choose on who you're going to be great with. You know, so I don't know, bro. You know what I mean? Hopefully y'all end up showing up and having good performances, you know, but that's what I'm hearing. You know, and then Tay Rock, you know what I mean? You about to battle Rex. What in the hell, Rock? I'm betting on your ass. Come on, bruh. You about to battle Rex? Yeah, so one rounder, but you about to get ready for three rounds with Suge? Come on, bruh. You, Suge ain't, you know, I know people be trying to play Suge. Suge ain't no easy opponent, bruh. I don't give a damn what y'all say, bruh. He know he about to battle Rock. I don't think Suge about to play with him. You know what I'm saying? And from what I'm hearing, bro, it's some other shit, bro. So, Rock, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do because you're going to have to be screaming and this is a small room. You're going to shotgun shot, shot, battling him. You're going to have to be going crazy on him. Then you got to battle Rex. You don't want to go into that battle with no voice. And you might be thinking, oh, it might be even because Rex ain't got no voice now anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you want to go in there trying to kill him, bro. Not on some... Tired from you just had a battle the same week, bro. You about to battle in like a couple days apart. What's the point? And people already like, it's rock the face of the URL. This and that. Yeah, this, if you beat Suge, it's a technically like a good look. But this is not like a stock rising for either one of y'all. Let's be real. And I, I hate to say that, Shotgun Suge, you've been around. You know what I mean? If you beat Rock, you know, it'll look favorable on you. But y'all kind of just, it's kind of like a... A limbo battle. Both of y'all are kind of great when y'all want to be. Y'all kind of average when y'all want to be. It's just kind of like a limbo battle. It's not going to do nothing. It's just Christmas money. But if one of y'all lose, people going to start looking at y'all a different way, bro. And Rock, you cannot be losing no goddamn Rex. You cannot do... Like, come on, bro. Rex, and another thing, right? This is what I want to say, bro. Real quick, because my realtor is fucking calling me. Rex is trying to have... The time limit fixed. 
You know what I mean? It's right now it's unlimited. So he's trying to get with you. He's trying to get with Stiz and figure out a time limit. Now, I would highly advise you not to do that. If it's an unlimited round, leave it at that. I would highly advise you not to do that. If you go with like five minute rounds, Rex is going to be cutting you off at two minutes and 30 seconds, knocking off your momentum. Then you're going to have to start rapping again. Then you're going to start playing around. Don't get into no situation like that, bro. Leave it unlimited. You know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, y'all can hash it out after the battle is done. But when you put a timestamp on that, Rex is going to fuck that battle up, bro. And I'm just telling you like it is. You know what I'm saying? But all y'all trying to get Christmas money and double booking, I can't tell y'all what to do. Y'all men, you know? But I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Are these battlers making good decisions? Or are they making bad decisions? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. My realtors called me. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.